thank a few people. Um, first off, I want to thank my family, uh, who is also the uh, my co-workers from Heartland Customs. We're all family owned and operated. Uh, so we can't get too mad at each other because we got to go home and see each other afterwards. Um, <laughs> Secondly, I want to thank the National Corvette Museum. Um, when I came to them about three years ago and kind of threw this crazy concept out there, um, I really wanted their support and they were, uh, they jumped in with both feet and uh, really got on our back, you know, on this deal and, and they've been there and been great with us the whole time. Uh, Lastly, I want to thank Gary Varney, the owner of uh, SpetVet01. Um, he financially kind of helped the dream come true for us. Um, we all love Corvettes from the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. Um, but we really enjoy what the modern C6, C7 Corvettes can do for you. So our question is, why can't you have both? The purpose of the SpecVet program was to fully modernize every function of the classic Corvette while staying true to its original styling and looks. A few of the modern amenities that this car has, it has light sensing headlights, so they will turn on and off automatically with dawn and dusk. Also stays on 30 seconds after you get out of the car to light your way in the house. Shuts all the power off the car after 30 seconds. Got a power hood. So that gets rid of the unsightly latches and stuff that the C1 Corvette had. It can also be controlled from your, from your key fob, kind of get that wow moment at a car show if you want to, make your hood go up down. It has a fully custom spec vet chassis. And on the chassis on this car, a lot of the other companies out there that are making the aftermarket chassis are taking a round or a rectangle tube chassis and they're bolting on C5 or C6 control arms to improve uh, the performance. This chassis is completely designed from the ground up using the latest computer program design programs to actually give you optimal performance inside the C1, C2, or C3 of your choice. Everything is designed, manufactured, and engineered for that specific year of Corvette. Nothing pulled off a shelf and bolted on. Uh, it's got full, uh, full C6 Corvette drivetrain. This car has the LS7 drive sump engine. Uh, the stereo is uh, fully modernized with a hidden subwoofer, but when you look inside, it looks just like the original stereo. You can open up the ashtray and it has a hidden iPhone dock, so it'll charge and play your, play your music through the, the hidden dock. The wheels and tires on this car were custom designed and made to mimic the 1958 hubcaps, but they're, original, uh, they're custom CNC and aluminum one-piece wheels. In modern sizes, and diameters, and widths, and Nitto high performance tires were made with white walls to give us that original 58 Corvette look. It also has a special formula in the white wall tires that even 10 years from now they'll still be as white as they are today. They don't yellow like the old white wall tires. Um, as far as the suspension on this car, when you set up custom suspension in a, in a custom car, you usually had to kind of give and take. If you want it to handle like this, it's going to ride like a log wagon. If you want it to feel like a Cadillac, it's going to be sloppy in the turns. Well, this car actually has the best of both worlds. It's got electronic ride control. So you can actually go from Cadillac to Z06 Corvette with the push of a button on the dash. Uh, it's got the modern delay wipers, modern heat air and dehumidified defrost. The retro gauge cluster was made to mimic the 58 gauge cluster with a brushed aluminum finish to match the dash insert and the center console insert. But now it has the 7000 red line to match the LS7 engine and an integrated check engine light so everything will function just like a brand new car. Power windows and locks. We wanted to really keep the original looks of the whole car and that included the interior. So we didn't want modern power window switches which wasn't available for this model of car. So it has the manual window cranks and all you do is push them down a quarter turn and you got power windows. <laughs> uh, it has an integrated battery management system that will monitor the complete electrical system of the car. And if the battery levels ever get down to where it's not gonna leave you enough juice in the battery to start the car, it'll shut down all the electronic functions. So you'll always have enough power to start the car. That also gives you uh, an external hidden uh, dock for uh, your C-Tech battery charger. 
So no more with the big alligator clips and you're looking for the deals to hook them in. You just open up the old gas cap uh, door there on the side of the fender and it's got a port. You pull out the waterproof plug, plug and slip it in and you can charge the battery that way. Um, when we did this car, we knew we wanted the National Corvette Museum's backing and, and stamp of approval. Like I said, they jumped in with both feet and were awesome from the very beginning and really, you know, stood behind us on this. Um, so much so that we actually have a plaque on every Specvet Corvette on the firewall that has the National Corvette Museum's logo, the Heartland Customs logo, the Specvet logo, and a serial number. So every car will be a numbered edition. Um, with a purchase of one of these cars, you also get the, uh, the honor of having your car unveiled at the museum, just like the museum delivery on the new C7s. Um, you know, that comes with a, a brick in the Walk of Fame, comes with a plaque, everything commemorating your uh, delivery. Also a letter from uh, Wendell Strode, the director of the museum that authenticates the vehicle. Um, you know, I think if you ever go to sell the car down the road, I don't know why you'd want to. <laughs> but if you did, I think that documentation is going to definitely help the resale value. Um, lastly, you know, NCRS restored and survivor classic Corvettes definitely have their place in our hearts. But for those of us that choose to own a classic Corvette, but relish in driving a modern Corvette that can take us to the edge of uncontrollability and back again safely and comfortably now have an option to suit both our tastes. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1958 Spec Vet Corvette. Much more to the car owner. 
The next judge was Kurt Binion. Is, is Kurt is outside. Just no, raise your hand and I'll hold up till you get here. The, new one does eight times. the owner is but Jimmy Middleton. Always, uh, he has a 2012 and he's from Alabama. Very nice Z, ZR1. Judge, I don't know if Paige or Mary is out here. Ron is from Pennsylvania. Paige, of course, chief engineer. So sexy. Love the yellow striped wheels. Wish it was a factory auction. We'd have a